Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. As you can see, the fight from last time went pretty well. I got away from the guards. Um, no fucking problem. And I didn't cheat one bit. Now, off to kill our third target, who is in fact named Enodius Papius. <laughs> okay, let's go kill Pappy. Here, Pappy, I'm coming for you. I'm coming all the way over to you, Pappy. Oh, and he's right next to a place I've already been, so I don't have to do that goddamn carriage thing. So, um, I'm wanted in Dawnstar. That's a thing now. Um, so, hopefully we won't have to go back there for a while, if you know what I mean. I mean, that wasn't like a double meaning or anything. That's, that's what I meant. Don't want to go back to Dawnstar. Maybe I should just become an innkeeper. It's a much safer line of work for us cat and lizard folk. Has anyone in the history of Skyrim ever played as one of these reptiles? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know they're called Argonians. God. And they're from the Black Marsh and all that and all that lore business. Oh my god, Elder Scrolls 6. Where do you guys want it to happen? Why am I... If, if you guys is, lit, is plural, like, shout out to the... Oh my god, you know what? Actually, we hit 30 subscribers. 30 Pizza Time subscribers. That's a crazy milestone, you know? Uh, fuck you, goo. Um, so shout out to all of them. All of the 30 people who decided we were good enough. Thank you. Um, yeah, Elder Scrolls 6, I would definitely love Valentwood. How cool, oh my god, did you see that? Um, how cool would an entire Elder Scrolls in a forest be? I mean, like, I mean, every place has forest, but like, where shit is, okay, whatever, pussy. Is like built into trees, and like, like a lot of it is navigating like branches, and like, er, oh, I don't know, I think the Bosmer are so cool. And I'm, oh my god, I'm so belchy. Um, I, I saw somewhere in the lore, deep within the lore, like I was just reading about something, and I'm not sure if this is entirely accurate, but Bosmer, or what elves, as common folk call them, uh, <laughs> um, eat people. They eat bodies. They're like ritualistically kill, and then they eat the people that they kill, which is fucking crazy. Can you imagine that? Um, I have a mod on where you can actually... Hey, buddy. You can... Oh, I can get this guy to attack me, I think. You know what? No need. I'll just kill him from up here. Um, I have a mod on that lets you... Like, one of your powers, or like your racial perks, is that you can eat people, and for a little while, because you ate someone, um, you're better at stuff. For a little bit. Like, you eat a person, and your skill with light armor goes up. Because... Elder Scrolls. I don't think he noticed. Oh, no one noticed. Master Assassin Bruce coming at ya. Hwah! Oh, super cool hack if you jump and you press the LB button. Oh my god! Oh my god, it did the thing. It did the thing. It... Oh, I need stamina for it. Okay, that thing I was talking about with a super Khajiit jump. It's legit. I have it. I do have it. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I did it the first time. Uh, Valkyries. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you can eat people. Um, but don't do that, like, in real life. Not a lot should be taken from Elder Scrolls and applied to your everyday life. Oh, God. Um... I'm ready to meet Cicero. I guess I shouldn't ruin it. Like, people... No, everyone's seen this, though. Like, am I spoiling it as I go? Kind of just accidentally what's saying... Well, like, saying what's happening next in the story. There's barely any intrigue. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop telling you what happens. You're gonna have to find out by watching this thrilling tale of a cat and his bow. Just the two of them. 
out and about around Skyrim, just killing shit left and right. There we go. I did it again. I did it. Did you did you see that? That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Okay, maybe you can, you can only do it in first person. It's kind of weird. Oh hey buddy, didn't expect you to be here. Are you busy? Yeah, you're busy. Who do I have to talk to? Nazir. He's not even in here. He's like, oh fuck, I don't want to talk to no jester today. Q marked for death. Hey, what's this word on the wall? Am I some sort of dragonborn or something? What is this? Some kind of hot tub time machine? Boo! Yeah, what's up? I can't. What? What's? Oh, okay, I I think I actually have to go through that. Oh no. Nope. Okay, it's done. No, I haven't talked to Astrid. She didn't even. Why can't she just come to me? She's got legs. <laughs> she won't later. But she's got them now. God, I gotta stop doing that. I'm sorry. No spoilers. No spoilers anymore. Thank God this isn't like a watch through of Game of Thrones. You would be so ruined. Oh my god. By the way, if you haven't, which you obviously have, um, watch Game of Thrones. It's my fave. I love it. This last season was rad. And I'm kind of sad that there's only two seasons left. But they're going to be good ones. That's for darn sure. Do you have a contract for me, Astrid? Is that why I was meant to come to you? Instead of you coming to me. Hey, look at those! Look at those legs that you have! Lazy. Just do whatever the contract wishes. <laughs> oh, Muri. Oh, she's a babe. She's one of the marriage candidates in this game. And you gain her favor by killing her... What is it? Ex-husband? What? Is, who do you kill? I guess we'll find out. Entry. Nazir. Narfi's dead. That was fun. Here also. Narf okay, Narfi's dead. Okay, great. Pappy's dead. Didn't want to kill him. Great name. Dead anyway. You're welcome, Nazir. Can I... Okay. Bel Bet Betild Betild's dead. I don't know how to say half the names in Skyrim. It's incredible. But, like, you can read them. Like, you can read them easy. You're like, oh, yeah, it's it's Pappy... Pappy... Minus. But then, when you try to say it out loud, it sounds something like what I just tried to say. It's crazy. Oh, hey, dude. I'll talk to you later. How about we go talk to Muri? Oh, right. That's Yeah, and if you do, like, her little extra bit, you, um... Or maybe that's how you get her to marry you. Either way, I can't imagine what that marriage would be like. An assassin and someone who hired an assassin to kill someone she just didn't generally approve of but you know to each their own i've seen weirder couples definitely back to markarth i'm basically a hero here now for pre preventing an innocent being slaughtered it's good they owe me one so basically that means whoever i murder here it, it doesn't exactly count because I did save someone's life. So basically, m the city of Markarth owes me a life. When you think about it like that. Which I think is good to do. Usually Miri's in here, but she's not. So I have to walk all the way over here with my legs. With my legs. Is this her house? Oh, it's just a different bar. You wench. <laughs> I, uh, Markarth is probably, I don't know. It's like cool, but I don't really like the dwarven kind of feel in a city. It makes me, like, I go into a dwarven cave and I get scared, you know? Hey, babe. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Um, you're looking feline, Miri. Get it? Meow, meow. Um... Obviously, not tell me what you need. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this dwarven shit here just reminds me of being in a deep, dark dungeon, and I don't want to live in that, so I've never bought a player home here. Meow. 
I didn't know it when we were, but Elaine was actually the leader of a band of cuts. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That's right. It's not just like a person she's not fond of. It's a bandit that actually is a bad person, deserves to die. So it's not that weird of a relationship, I guess. It's kind of weird that she saved up for this, though. It's like, I've got a jar of nickels. Oh, hey, what's your jar of nickels for? Oh, I'm saving up to place a hit on someone. Oh, that's cool, dude. See ya. Oh, if she dies too. Did she look at you the wrong way, Miri? Oh, yeah, why do you want Elaine dead? I'm actually kind of curious. Good morning, phrase of the I met Elaine. He was handsome, charming. It was all lies. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Miri. I, don't, I still don't think that's a really good reason to have someone killed. You kill a lot of bandits in this game. It's incredible. Like, uh, like, like <laughs> you gotta wonder for like someone who's supposed to be a hero. Like the amount of bodies you have created between like bandits and Forsworn and Thalmor by the only end of it. Like, who's really the bad guy here? Still the bandits, kind of, but like you're not so great either. I mean, just because you can yell really loud and it makes fire and ice doesn't mean you're nice. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a modern day poet. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll settle down at the inn in Wilhelm. Or should I even do that anymore? I'm not sure because, like, I'll never go to bed. Okay, you know what? Fuck it! This time, I'm going in. I'm gonna pay for a room and I'm gonna get in the bed before this episode is over, or so help me God.